Hello everyone, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video we will be talking about the Coolpad Note 5 and uh, unboxing it as well and also be sharing my initial impressions after using it for a couple of days or so. So first of all a physical overview, at the back we can see the speaker Coolpad branding and at the bottom side it is plastic, no metal. So metal is in the middle part. So it is metallic body and two sides plastic for the signals to pass through. At the top we have the camera, fingerprint sensor and a single LED flash, secondary noise cancelling microphone as well. But that part is again plastic. In the front uh, we have the keys but these are not backlit. And uh, we have the display which is a 5.5 inch full HD screen. And at the top we have the camera sensor, the proximity sensor, the earpiece. So at the bottom we have the charging port with the primary noise cancelling microphone and a couple of screws. And the frame is plastic, only some part of the back is metallic. At the right of the phone we have the power rocker and the SIM card tray. And in the SIM card tray it is an hybrid SIM card slot. So the second SIM card slot is clearly over here that it is a hybrid SIM card slot and both the SIM supports uh, voice over LTE, 4G, everything. And at the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and at the left side we have the volume rockers. So volume rocker at one side, power button at the other side. And at the back I am just showing you this because uh, the camera is protruding a little bit but uh, it is protruding and fingerprint sensor does work pretty nicely so no issues. So now coming to the box we can clearly see this is the royal gold color 11,000 rupees MRP and the SAR values are also mentioned over here. These are the bands that are supported all 4G LTE Indian bands are supported and uh, when we unbox the phone we'll get a screen guard in inside it. So. So yeah, uh, we get a screen guard inside, a booklet uh, as well in which uh, they are quick start guides and uh, warranty settings and everything and warranty and uh, a SIM ejector tool. In the power cord uh, point of view, we have the normal cable, a good high quality cable, a decent pair of earphones as well and a wall charger which comes in with a 5 watts at uh, 2 amp uh, output. So no fast charging uh, but uh, the phone does support fast charging I'll show you that in the video further. So this is the phone and the um, UI is pretty similar to what we have seen previously on Coolpad devices and um, if you sl slide down you can search your phone for the apps uh, the notification uh, toggle uh, down and we can clearly see SIM1 at uh, Reliance Geo voice royalty is enabled so yep it is working. And um, it is having 4 GB of RAM. It is one of the cheapest phone with 4 GB of RAM. So this is a big selling point for this phone, 4 GB of RAM. We'll see how this performs in our gaming review very soon. So it is running on cool UI, Android version 6.0. And uh, for a change, security patch is 1st of September. That is pretty decent because previous uh, Coolpad devices security patch updates were very, very slow. So at least this is uh, almost up to date, pretty decent and some uh, UI features so it also has a C button functionality which is sort of a quick toggle for these all things. Wake up gestures are also supported so double tap to wake, slide up to unlock and all that stuff. Pretty decent I have tried it out but double tap to wake is the thing that I use on a regular basis and um, multi screen glove mode, three finger screenshot. These are also pretty useful. Uh, so multi screen and three finger screenshot, I usually use it. And as winters are coming, most probably glove mode will also be used by some people. And this is a control center. So you also have a control center. So as we took out the notification toggle, there was no quick settings because the control center comes up like, like this. So yeah, uh, we do have a lot of stuff to play around with and uh, you don't have to press any button you can just slide it from the bottom just like uh, you can do it on ios devices and some other chinese brand devices as well dual apps are supported but only for two things that is for facebook and for whatsapp no other app is supported for dual apps and uh, charging manager is also there so fast charging uh, so it is clearly written that uh, phone might heat up when you do fast charging so in the more we can see that uh, there's no NFC supported. So for 11,000 rupees phone, nothing big over there. So in the picture mode, the front camera is 8 megapixel and the back camera is 13 megapixel. Both of them can uh, sh shoot photographs in HDR. So this is front camera shooting at HDR enabled. So pretty decent. 
and uh, at the back camera and front camera both can record videos up to 1080p no 4k video but 1080p is the maximum and there is a very good and robust uh, pro mode as well for the back camera not for the front camera but it is pretty decent and uh, you can tinker on around with the settings a lot so thank you very much guys for watching this video this was shown here from 24 7 techie and i've been playing around with this device for about two days and uh, so far it has been pretty decent experience the gaming review of the phone is also coming out very soon so do stay tuned and if you want to see any comparisons or any specific thing do tell us in the comment below and we'll definitely make a video about that and uh, all in all it is running on snapdragon 617 with 4 gb of ram which sounds to be pretty decent for 11000 rupees phone but we'll test it out more so that we can have a uh, better idea if it is uh, great or not thank you very much for watching and do hit the like button do share this video and do subscribe to the channel it will help us a lot and i would really like to see you in my next video till then see ya thank you very much guys